Today's quick video explains how to cook pasta so it's not overcooked, mushy, and what it means to cook pasta al dente. I'm also gonna answer for you when you should rinse the pasta and when you should not. Here, I have a pot that I filled with water that I'm bringing to a boil. Now today, I'm cooking spaghetti, but the tips apply to any type of pasta. Also, a quick note that just because I'm cooking spaghetti, it doesn't mean I need a taller stock pot. No, you don't have to break your noodles in half either. So first, what you wanna make sure is that your water has come up to a rolling boil. Do you see the big bubbles? That's when you add your pasta in and when the cooking time noted in your box starts. If you add the pasta when the water is warm and not boiling, you'll soften up the pasta slowly instead of cooking it and you end up with mushy noodles. I personally like to add pasta into the pot and help it get it all in there as they begin to soften up with some tongs and then I add the salt to my water. I add about a teaspoon of salt per pound of pasta to add flavor to the noodles, which by the way, the sodium is not all absorbed by the pasta, it's just for seasoning. A quick note to say that if you're using fresh pasta, you should check it at about four minutes after adding it to the boiling water. It cooks much faster than boxed pasta. By the way, if you find this type of how-to videos helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to make more of them on my channel. Most of us are probably using store-bought noodles and the package will tell you how many minutes to cook it for. I personally like to set a kitchen timer for about a minute less than what's noted on the packaging so I can do a taste test first. Nowadays, many packages also list al dente times. So if your recipe calls for al dente pasta, make sure to check that before the time. Al dente pasta, by the way, means that it's mostly cooked, but the middle is still firm in the center. If you're cooking pasta for a casserole or baking it after, your recipe probably calls it for al dente since it'll finish cooking in the oven along with the other ingredients. If you're using pasta to be added to a sauce, you can cook it to the time on the package. And again, check a minute or so before so it's the way you like it. One quick tip is to reserve some pasta water before you drain it in case you need to thin out or stretch your sauce. Now that the pasta is ready, we're gonna drain the pasta but not rinse it. Rinsing your pasta will wash out the starch or the sticky surface that it's going to help the sauce that you plan on adding stick to the pasta. If you don't want it to stick to itself while you finish making the sauce, it's better to add a little olive oil instead. Now, unless you're making a cold pasta dish. If you're making a cold pasta dish or going to use the pasta later, then rinse it and toss it with some olive oil. Once cooled, save it for later in the fridge for up to five days. Make sure to watch this next video where I share my tips to get your pasta water to boil faster. See you guys next time.